Exercise 1. On January 1, 2011, Bartell Enterprises issues bonds that have a $3,150,000 par value, mature in 20 years, and pay 8% interest semi-annually on June 30th and December 31st. The bonds are sold at par. A bond is a fixed obligation to pay a series of cash flows equal to a percentage of the par value each year followed by a return of the par value. In this case, there will be two payments per year for 20 years, followed by a lump sum payment of $3,150,000. How much will each one of those semi-annual payments be? To calculate the semi-annual payment, we take the face value, $3,150,000, multiply it by the contract rate, 8%, and divide by the number of payments per year, two payments per year. Every six months, Bartell Enterprises will pay a total of $126,000. Requirement 2 asks us to prepare the journal entries to record the issuance of the bonds on January 1, 2011, and the first two interest payments. On January 1, 2011, the bonds are sold at par. Bartell Enterprises is borrowing $3,150,000. They will make 40 payments of $126,000 and then repay a lump sum equal to $3,150,000. When they borrow the money, they debit cash $3,150,000 and credit bonds payable for the par value $3,150,000. The journal entry to record the first payment on June 30, 2011 is a debit interest expense $126,000 and a credit to cash. The journal entry to record the second interest payment on December 31, 2011 is exactly the same, debit bond interest expense and credit cash. When a bond is issued at par, its carrying value stays constant over the life of the bond. Requirement 3. We're asked to prepare the journal entry for issuance of bonds assuming, letter A, that the bonds are issued at 96. When the bond selling price is expressed in this case as 96, or in letter B, at 101, these values are percentages of the par value. In this case, since the bond is selling at 96% of the par value, less than 100%, it's selling at a discount. The journal entry on January 1st debits cash for 96% of $3,150,000, $3,024,000, credit bonds payable for the par value, $3,150,000, and debit discount on bonds payable for the 4% discount, $126,000. In letter B, the bonds are issued at 101. Since it's more than 100%, the bond is issuing at a premium. Debit cash, 101% of $3,150,000, $3,181,500, credit bonds payable $3,150,000, and credit premium on bonds payable $31,500.